Okay, so I tightened up this shape in Illustrator. I just spent a lot of time moving points around and adding guidelines to try to make things symmetrical and even. And uh, this is what I decided to finish up with in a nice baby blue. What I want to do now is bring this in to Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to do. Select it, Control C to copy, bring it on over to Photoshop and control V to paste it and here is my shape now. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, play around with the color a little bit so I'll just go down to um, the effects and I'll first go to blending options and I'm just going to bring that fill opacity down. It makes it see-through basically <laughs> so I can add a cover o color overlay and uh, you know, for what it, for what I'm doing here, I don't really need to bring the blending, the opacity down to zero. But when you start adding textures and things like that, you want to do that so that um, you can um, use the color overlay with a texture. I'm gonna, you know, adjust it and still go with a really, you know, light blue. I think just this is a way to show you how to change colors of your shapes. And um, what I can do also is add a stroke and you can I can make it big I can put it on the inside so that it's sharp and I can change the color and uh, that's about all I can do with Photoshop you know I, I can't make dotted lines or dashed lines or anything like that with a stroke and um, I can you know add a pattern but those are just kind of funky looking so um, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll leave th this stroke on here. You know, bring it down to, I don't know, 16 points for this. Why not? Okay, so now this has a stroke and it also has a color overlay. If you zoom in, you can see it a little bit better. And, uh, but you know, I think I also want to add like another outline of this shape, but with like a white dotted outline and just that to kind of double it. And the problem is Photoshop's really not good for that, um, to do it quickly. And you know what? Neither is Illustrator, surprisingly. Um, I know they have, the newer versions have more modified options for stroke, but basically you can make a dashed line and you can change that up, but, and you can, you know, use, make lines and strokes that look like paint brushes and things like that, but just to get a nice dotted line, there isn't really a quick option for that. Um, not quick enough. I need it to be quick. So what I do is I do it in uh, InDesign. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to actually open a new file in InDesign, a new document. And this doc this program is usually used for page layout, like for newsletters or magazines or books, things like that. I like to use it also for creating shapes and outlines. Um, I'm just going to have, just it doesn't matter if it's facing pages or not, you're just going to have one page and um, this is just going to be kind of a like a scrap paper so it doesn't really matter what how big it is I just make it a book normal page size hit OK and you have your file come up and uh, I need to get that shape in here so I'll go back to Illustrator copy and I might I should have probably still been able to paste it uh, it should have been still on my clipboard but come here and paste it and now I have this shape and there's a blue outline around it and um, my preferences are kind of set up so I'm going to hit control H um, to hide that outline that's just something with InDesign that is a preference that's set up right now control H gets rid of that if you have that and so I have this shape and what I want to do is open the stroke palette which is already open here but you can just go to window and stroke make sure it's selected and what I can do is I can add a stroke which you can't see right now because if you come over here you can see that the stroke color is the same as the fill so you're not going to be able to see it so I'm going to just go up here and pick like a white color and uh, I'll put the stroke on the inside and the beauty is you can go down here to type on the stroke palette and you can just select dots I'll just do Japanese dots and make it bigger to make the dots bigger and look at that. 
and you can move the stroke so it's on the inside of the shape, so it's centered on the shape, or so it's outside the shape. This is the easiest way to do it. Just bring it into InDesign, set it up. Um, when I paste it into Photoshop, I don't want it to have that blue because I already have that shape there. So this is just style preference. So I'm just going to get rid of, select the fill, select no fill right there. And so that white outline is still there. We can't see it because it's a white background. But I'm just going to have it selected like it is. Copy and bring it on over to Photoshop. Control V and there it is with that blue outline. And, uh, you know, I made a, a little background elements that are just aren't visible right now. So if I make those visible and, you know, there you, there's your shape. And I'm going to go back to this original one and affect that stroke. I don't want it to be that dark color. I'll just make that a white color also. Okay, so now this is the dotted shape with the stroke, and this is the background one. So you can see them together, and if you have them both selected, you can move them around. You can make them big. And that is it. InDesign is a really, really great feature for this. So I really recommend getting in there, playing around with the stroke options. It's just the quickest way to modify strokes. Um, you can do some stuff with Photoshop and Illustrator, but really it's going to take some effort that I don't think is necessary. You should be able to do this with these programs. So there you go. And we'll be back next time to talk about um, adding images into these shapes with clipping masks.